Hi, my name is Alexey Konashevich. In this video, we'll talk about the transition from the old land registry or real estate registry to the blockchain estate registry. This discussion is relevant for both types of registries, for the registry of title deeds, uh, let's call it the American type, and the title registry, let's call it European slash Australian. It's not very accurate classification, but it's enough for this level of discussion. If you would like to know more about the types of registries and why blockchain estate registry is suitable replacement for both, find the link down below. Is blockchain estate registry a replacement? Yes and no, because it's a separate technology that can work as a standalone registry. No, because there is no need to abandon the old registry. Blockchain can work in parallel as an alternative and as an option to choose between the two systems. The whole idea is that blockchain is used as the basic technology for the registry instead of the typical central server system. You can think of blockchain as a kind of database as well, but it's not like we used Oracle DB for the land registry and then we decided to switch to MySQL. Blockchain as decentralized distributed technology is fundamentally different. So it makes sense to consider the full potential that it can bring by improving the whole system not like as we just switch the technology but keep the old bureaucratic system around. Blockchain opens the door to rethinking the paradigm of the system as the land registry is not just a list of records of who owns what. It includes regulations and legal procedures, IT infrastructure and people. In the long list of differences between the two systems, with blockchain, I would emphasize two that distinguish. First one is that users can commit peer-to-peer -peer transactions without intermediaries directly on the registry. You see, because of some fundamental limitations of the centralized technology, it's extremely difficult to make such a registry where the users directly manage their property rights. Therefore, in the current system, you don't have access to records Transactions are mediated through operators of that registry. In different countries, they are called in different ways, registrars, conveyancers, notaries, and so on. Blockchain owners have direct access to their records. They don't need a registrar to facilitate a transaction. Owners manage their property rights records in digital form through the magic of asymmetric cryptography. There are three basic elements here. A title token, which is a kind of electronic record, an address to which this record is attached, and a private key through which you can authorize a transaction. With this appears the second distinguishing feature. It's actually three things in one, digitalization, automation and standardization of real estate transactions. With blockchain registry, real estate transactions can become completely paperless. From the legal perspective, nothing will be happening offline and it can become digital and more user-friendly. So users will be able to buy and sell property at the click of a finger. You don't need lawyers, agents, notaries, especially if you want to commit a standard transaction. It can all be automated and you don't need even to type in your name. Human error will be excluded. Frankly speaking, this kind of innovation surely can be introduced within the old-fashioned registry. And some countries did a few steps in this direction. For example, Australia introduced electronic conveyance, but it has limits specific for the centralized technology. You still need intermediaries to facilitate transactions. Smart contracts are not feasible in this system. But this topic is for another discussion. In my introduction video, I triggered almost all these questions. You can find the link to it down below. Also, in this video, I discussed the advantages of a blockchain set registry with multiple examples and use cases. You'll find the link to it in the description down below and in the last seconds of 
this video. So does it mean blockchain registry must completely supersede the old-fashioned uh, real estate registry system? Well, I don't think it's strictly necessary, at least now. The new registry can work as an alternative to, to the old one. In parallel, there are two cases where it would be reasonable to have blockchain as the only system though. First, in countries that have no central registry at all. For example, Bermuda Islands introduced their registry in 2016. To be honest, I don't know which countries don't have a registry, but I assume there are some. And the second case, countries with poor land registry systems. I don't see reasons to abandon the old system in those countries where it works. I think the better scenario is to have a competitive system of two technologies so people can choose. Those who are happy with the old-fashioned one may stay with it. At the same time, a new pilot system will be available for those who want to enjoy all the advantages and the full power of blockchain technology. From the technical point of view, to make two systems work in parallel, we will need a technical protocol to ensure the transfer of the title record from the old registry to blockchain and back. In simple terms, it can look as follows. Here is Alice. She creates a title record on the blockchain and submits her application to the old registry for a transition record. The registrar makes a record in the land registry that indicates that Alice is not using the registry anymore and that the title is transferred to the blockchain. The old registry will contain the blockchain address where the title token resides now. The advantage of the blockchain is that it is transparent and all transactions are traceable. So if Alice transfers her title token to Bob, this token will be attached to Bob's address. Even if we start our search from the old registry that indicates that the title record was transferred to Alice's address, it's not a problem, as blockchain is designed in the way that it allows us to trace back all subsequent transactions. So we will necessarily find who the last owner is, Bob in this case. If for any reason we need a reversible system, the protocol will support termination of records on the blockchain through which the user can burn the token and renew the title record on the old registry. I hope this answers your questions for the smoothest scenario of transition to the new registry. Thank you. Hit like, subscribe and share this video with others. It will help this channel a lot. See you in the next video.